Hey guys, meet Brooke. She's a 16 year old rider from New Zealand. She has a 14.1 hand high pony. It's some rare breed that I can't even pronounce. He's seven. They got Pedro when he was four years old and it's been so cool for them to grow together. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Sunday, it is the second day of a freezing cold snap. One of the worst cold snaps ever that it we've experienced. Snowing. And see Chino and Penny out there. It's snowing. They're like, help, it is snowing, it is cold. Been turning the horses in a lot earlier the last couple of days to help them stay warm, but holy heck, you guys, it is freezing. I just showed you the water bucket. They are cold. Sam had to bring some of them up tonight. We have some heated water buckets. These are the only ones that froze, thank goodness. We are headed out to do a little bit of shopping, but if you missed the video, Sam actually bought me this amazing winter coat and it has been phenomenal. You guys, literally, I get excited about going out in the cold right now. It's like putting on a blanket. It's even big enough that I can pair it with a heavy sweater. This is like honestly my heaviest sweater ever. I can pair it with that and I can still put it on and it's still comfortable and I can still do it up. It is the best thing I've ever received as a gift because I'm the kind of girl that's always cold. Oh, it's so nice. And if you missed the video, you might not know, but it's got heated pockets. Not heated. So <laughs> it's got cool. like they're, they're, what did he they're say they were? Insulated. They're not insulated. They're so nice Normal. though. Oh, I love them. They make your hands warm. They're like, it's a specific kind of material in there. It's like a hand warmer. That's what it is. This makes my hand. So we also got some hoodies that are a little bit oversized, but are made heavyweight for going out in winter because she hates to wear a coat. Yeah, I only like sweaters. Do you guys remember when Gabby went through that stage and now she wears coats every, everywhere, all the time? I also have a book. Also, Sylvia is addicted to books right now, which is a win for us. I also have five more. Yeah, she got a lot of books this last week, which is really good. I'm excited. It's good to read. How are the horses this morning? Seriously, freezing out. It was like minus 34 this morning. <laughs> Minus 34 Celsius. I mean, when I looked in the mirror, I had like, I don't know, I had some white stuff all over, frozen icicles on my face. That's how cold it was. And how was your breathing? My breathing was bad. Because I have asthma, so it was fine until like an hour later, it was just too cold, so I was like, my, my breathing was like hard to breathe. How are the horses? The horses are good. The horses are definitely feeling it, especially uh, the horses in the big field. They have the shelter there and we've been feeding them through this cold snap so that they're always like sheltered from the wind because of the shelter. So we put it where the wind doesn't go, basically. I do think that the horses suffer less in the winter than they do in the summer, but right now everybody's just kind of hunkering down and the cold snap has ended. We got a weather alert today that said that the cold snap is officially over. It's going to start, the temperature's going to start to rise now. We're going to all be better. So that is lucky. We're going to have to do a little bit of shopping again. Uh, when we get home though, I want, to, I want to show you guys something really cool with the baby. She is hilarious. She is so smart, especially when it comes to her food. And I want to, go, I want to show you guys something that we've accidentally trained her to know. Okay, they have like the cutest little bowls here. They have all new dog stuff and it makes me really want to get a new puppy. Oh, a training leash. That's really cool. It has two handles. Mom. For I'm maximum sorry. control. I decided to get Daisy the bunny. You're going to get Daisy I the bunny? I I literally think of her. Like, she would love this. She I know. Stuff when we go this. home, our dog will meet us at the door to see what we brought them. Whenever That's how crazy it is. Bag, Daisy goes through the bag. She's uh, like, what's mine? I know. We also have um, a dog swim vest that we've had for a lot of years. I just washed it the other day. I the blue dog. You like the blue dog, but not the green frog? I love the frog, but... All right, so here's the but thing. One. Let's get both because we have three dogs. True. And Ruby only likes squeaky stuff. And okay, so and here's... That's so soft. But here's the thing. The, the, the thing. They all share. I know, but every morning I wake up and there's like destroyed toys everywhere. So you guys know okay, that... So maybe one of those, one of these, and then, one, and then this. Okay. Well, one. I like the frog. Yeah. You guys know that Macy died at 14 years of age this past just past Christmas this year. And 
I made it. Been like back and forth, back and forth. Should I get a new puppy? Should I get a new puppy? And I like literally almost tell Sam, okay, I'm ready to get a puppy. And then I stop myself because I get so stressed out. I get worried let's because. Go back to the dog section. No, let's stay away from the dog section. Chance. But I get worried because like. I think of all the reasons I want a puppy and it's all like the playing and the sweet and or any little dog. The then sweet and the and fun like and minutes. but then I think about like the potty training and the accidents oh, and cool. the cleaning up after. So Sophie getting these toys for the dogs that I'm continuously cleaning up after. Like I hate that we need to find a little I hate dogs. that our dogs have toys. I hate that our dogs have toys because I'm cleaning up after them every single day. Our dogs are messier than anybody in our family. It's actually quite nice out, you guys. Well, not like nice, but for winter, it's still nice. Like the weather is supposed to be in the plus tomorrow. I want springs, y'all. Okay, so let's show them. So before we show you guys what we came down to show you, I want to show you Sophie's new boots. We went to pick them up. A few years ago, I showed you guys. There's a hose there, a frozen you, hose. A few years ago, I showed you guys how we bought our boots, or Sam and Sophie and Gabby, all bought boots from this local lady who sells them. If you want the name of the boot, let me know and I'll tell you. But they cost $114 and they're basically indestructible. Sophie needed a new pair this year. Because I tripped into a tree and then broke it. Yeah, she broke her last pair on a tree. Oh, Only yeah, Sophie I can break indestructible boots. But anyway, I wanted to show you, these are the new ones that she got. And what's super fancy about them is that when you first get them, you're a spring. They are oh, really hello. light. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, she's got icicles. Um, so these are the boots. They're adorable. They're like croc material almost. They're like winter crocs. She they has an ice cold on her eyelash. I know, we gotta get that off. So they come with this liner that is, makes them even warmer. I don't but like the liners. Most of the, like most, a lot of people wear them without the liner, without socks, or they wear the sock liner without socks. And I don't they. I like the liner. I know, she hates the liner. But she says they feel like springs. They're they like winter springs. croc boots. And they cost $111, you can't the beat that. The only other shoes I wear. Yeah, like crap. she loves them. They have three styles. They have like a really girly style that Gabby has. Then they have that style. And then they have a man's style. And what Sophie really likes about them is that they fit nice and wide. But then like Gabby has some too and they don't, and their hers are not wide. And I just put horse treats in my in my new coat. Ugh, I hate that. But anyway, we're gonna show you Honey's new trick. I don't even know if she can do this. I just think she can do it. You're gonna see at the same time that we see if she can do this. Penny looks sad. Oh, girly. She literally has an icicle on her eyeball. Just let me, let me touch your eye. So the only way to get it to go is to put your hand over top of it and warm it. I'm gonna have to do that. It is cold, but I got it off. Do you know how I do it? Hello, honey! Hello, honey! She's gonna get her blanket off tonight. <laughs> Look at it, their blanket still fits her good. <laughs> I know, she is so funny. All right, so we're gonna do our trick now because it's getting cold. We actually had to bring Chino and Penny in because even though they're... Uh, it's not like crazy cold like it was yesterday. Their feet are cold. If they get those icicles, my hands are cold, but the rest of my body is warm. This coat is so warm. Okay, so my plan is this. The yellow bowl is Honey's. And I think Honey knows her color. Whew, it is cold. Just wait, okay. Penny's like, I know what's happening here. Okay, so these are the bowls. Let's see if what if Honey knows where her bowl is. Oh, she's still coming. Did you see it? <laughs> she knows her bowl. I knew it. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. So I rearranged the bowls. I swear to God, she knows her color. She knows her color. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Come on, Honey. Uh-oh. Honey, that's not your ball. That's not your ball, that's not your ball. What the heck? <laughs> All right, one last try. Let's see, I can hear the kitty. 
All right. Yeah. Come on, get to your bowl. No. She's just gonna go to any bowl she can. She doesn't understand the rules, but I do think she knows her bowl. <laughs> no! <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. So she was eating at this bowl, and I started to walk toward her, and I said no, and she stood up and ran to her bowl. I wish I had filmed it. We put a little tiny bit of grain in each bowl. We put a little tiny bit of grain in each bowl so that she would like, we should have only put the grain in her bowl. But I think she knows her color. Sophie's doing honey's exercises. Like, even though it's winter and freezing outside, we still have to do, she still has to do her exercises. My hands are frozen though. Anyway, I loved that because she really knows her color. I think what happened was that she was like, I don't care what color, nobody's fighting me off these. I'm just gonna go to whatever color is closest. But when we said no, like that's not your bowl and we were gonna take it away, she's like, fine, I'll just go to my own bowl. She knows her bowl, you guys. She knows colors. She knows colors. I know she knows colors. Like, or at least she knows her color. So that makes me wanna like see if all of our horses know their colors. It's so fascinating to me. All anyway, right, that's fun. I think the next challenge that we're gonna do is we're gonna do that on all of our horses when it's a little bit warmer. My hands are frozen. Is that why the rest of me is warm, yeah. I abandoned you because I was cold. Okay, so I'm not kidding, but every time we walk in the house, they come. We really went straight to the bag. Did we just buy three? Yeah. Whoa, okay. So every time we come home, every single time we come home, I swear to God, the dogs, they already have a toy. <laughs> They're fighting over a toy. The dogs always are excited. Like they always get excited because they know we're, we always have stuff for okay, them. You ready? Yeah. So who's getting what? Molly's getting the frog. Okay. Molly's getting the frog. Ruby's getting the squirrel. Ruby's getting a squirrel. And Daisy's getting the bunny. <laughs> Molly's like, I'll take them all. Yep. She chose. She yep, chose. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> That's the one she wanted. And then Daisy. Daisy. Go. Oh, she's scared of it. See? She's scared of everything. Daisy, come here. It's because she's deaf. No, she doesn't want that. She wants... Nope, that's not the one she wants. Is this the one you want? <laughs> Molly's hey. like, I'll take them all. Ruby, that's yours, Ruby. That's <laughs> yours, Ruby. <laughs> take it. <laughs> Ruby, get it. Get, get it, Ruby. She only likes, she only likes squeaky things. Oh, Molly, Molly, <laughs> Look at how funny she is. Where'd the money go? Well, Daisy, I'm disappointed in your reaction. <laughs> She's scared of it. She actually, there we go. There we go. Molly, leave it. Oh. <laughs> I don't want it to wash. She never likes ones I think out for her. All in a day in the life of dogs. This there we go. Take the tag off. Did you take the tags yeah. off? Molly, come here. She took it to her, her crate. Look, She's adopted it now. Works. Poor Molly got the worst one. <laughs> Daisy wants them all. She's just like mine. Yours is in your crate, you silly girl. <laughs> Go get it. It's in your crate. She's like it's my baby. It takes her so long to process things. Like I don't know if that's a Dalmatian thing or if it's a deaf dog thing. Like there's so much weird about her and different about her. She's the most loving, the most sensitive, the most sweet, the most fearful. Like we've never had a dog be fearful before. She's the we've only one. We've never had a Dalmatian before. We've never had a Dalmatian before. But like she definitely, her first reaction to things is to be scared. Oh look, she's taking it. She's gonna take Mo Molly's toy to her crate. Watch. Oh, she's checking it out first. No, she doesn't like it. <laughs> Molly just, uh oh. She's like, can I play with it? <laughs> Molly's like, give it back to me. Here she goes. <laughs> and Ruby just so quietly okay, over there Molly, with her okay. toy. Okay. Like I said, though, the problem with giving our dogs toys is that every morning oh. I comes back with no toy. Every day I have to sweep up a thousand toys, a thousand things on the ground. Like I have to sweep a thousand times a day. She's like, it's mine. All right. Look at yours. All right. So the dogs have settled from the excitement. I think they always are like, is this all we get? It's yours. This one's yours, Daisy. Uh-oh, Daisy. What's <laughs> the It's yours. You can get this one. She doesn't like the things I pick out for her. She doesn't care. She just wants you.
Don't you know that you're beautiful?